my name is Becky Litzow, and today I'll be showing you to make how to make a hide and reveal activity. We have four different kinds of hide and reveal activities. The first one is move and reveal, the second erase and reveal, the third order and reveal, and the fourth screen shade reveal. Let's start with the first one, move and reveal. Here is an example of a move and reveal question. How many beats does a half note get? It says move the box to reveal the answer. Once you move the box, the answer is revealed as two beats. Here are the steps to make this kind of move and reveal activity. Number one, type your question and answer. Number two, draw a rectangle and fill with a color. Number three, double click the shape to add text. Number four, type move the box to reveal answer inside the box. And number five, move the shape to reveal the answer. Let's get started. First of all, I'm just going to cut the shape I already have made so that we can make our own. Step one, type your question and your answer. As you can see, I've already done that here. Number two, draw a rectangle and fill with a color. In order to draw a rectangle, you'll want to go to your tool palette and choose the shape tool. The shape tool has a blue circle and an orange square. Once you select it, your contextual panel will show up, giving you lots of options for what shape and color you'd like to use. I'm going to use a rectangle because I find that the rectangle happens to cover the answer very well. You can certainly use other shapes like hearts and stars. Just make sure they cover the entire answer. They can be a little more tricky with all of the different points going on. So I've chosen rectangle and then I want to choose the color. I simply click on the color palette and the fill color and line color appear. For a fill color today, I'm going to choose something kind of bright or light colored because I want my text to pop out on top of that uh, rectangle. If your default text is black, sometimes it's just easier to leave it black. You certainly can change the color and make a light colored or a dark, a dark colored a uh, box with some light colored text, but just takes a little more effort. I'm going to stick with yellow today and I'm going to leave the line black. Then you simply touch your board and drag the rectangle to cover your answer. Again, making sure it covers your entire answer. Number three, double click shape to add text. Now, don't get tricked. I often find myself immediately wanting to double click but instead of a selection happening, another box appears because I have forgotten to choose my select tool. So, I will undo that and choose my select tool to make sure the box is chosen. When you double click it, you'll see that the border around the box gets a little larger. That tells you that it's ready to have text entered into it. Now I'm going to go to my keyboard and enter some text. And there you have it. Now I happen to be a little more picky and that I like to have my text centered in the box. To do that, simply select and highlight your text. And then you'll want to go to your Properties side tab. Your Properties side tab can be found right over here. It has a letter A and some boxes and lines with colors. If my text is already selected, text style will automatically pop up first. I'm going to select under Paragraph, Center. And immediately my text is centered. Now, we just have step five, move the shape to reveal the answer. And that is how you make a move and reveal activity. Let's move on to our next one. Our next one is erase and reveal. Here is an example of an erase and reveal question. What does forte mean? Simply going to take my eraser and erase underneath the question to reveal the answer. 
you may or may not want to include directions off to the side that tell you where to erase. It's up to you. So how do we make this? First, you type your question and answer. Next, click a pen tool. Choose an ink that is the same color as the page background. Number three, cover the answer with ink. And number four, use the eraser tool to erase ink and reveal the answer. Let's get started. I've already typed in my question and answer here. So now we need to go to the pen tool. In my tools palette, I'm gonna click on the pen tool which looks like three pens. Once I click on the pen tool, my contextual palette, excuse me, shows up with all of our options. I'm going to select a color that exactly matches our background. So I go to the color palette and I choose this tannish beige color to match our background. Another thing that I like to do is I like to make my line style thicker. Your line style may be set at a default that is somewhat thin, and if you try to cover your answer, it might take a while with that very thin line. So I like to go to the line style option and select something that is thicker. It's a lot quicker to cover up your answer. Next, it says use the eraser tool to erase ink and reveal the answer. Now you can either use the eraser on the actual smart board, but you can also use your eraser tool. Click on the eraser from the tools panel, and you can use your finger or any other object to reveal that answer. And that is our erase and reveal. Let's move on to our next one. Oops, I need to select my select tool in order to get the eraser off the screen. Now I can go home. Our next one is order and reveal. An order and reveal is a little more difficult just in that it has more steps, but it's also really fun and great to do. Here is an example of an order and reveal question. When you start the question or start the page, your box should be off to the side. What is the name of the highest part sung in choir? There are directions here that say, drag the rectangle over the line to reveal the answer. As you can see, when you drag the, the shape, the rectangle over your line, your text appears and it gives you the answer soprano. Let's see how we do this. Number one, type your question. Then type the answer that you want hidden. Change the font color so it's the same color as the page background. Remember where you placed it. Number two, create a shape that is larger than the answer. Fill it with a color that contrasts with the background. Number three, click the drop down menu of the visible shape. Select order, then send to back. Number four, move the shape so it's underneath the answer. This will reveal your answer. And number five, add instructions to let others know how to use the activity. Let's get started. As you can see, I've already typed in my question, but now I need to type in my answer in a new and special way. When I typed in my answer, it originally came up in the font color of black. However, that's not what we want for this activity. You want to make sure your font color matches your background color. So you simply select your text and go to your property side tab and it'll immediately go to text style where you can select the same background color for your text. Once you've done that and you click anywhere else on the screen, you will see that your answer disappears. Now, also, don't forget where you placed it. You have to remember so that you can find it on the page later. Number two, create a shape that is larger than the answer. Fill it with a color that contrasts the background. Let's get rid of this shape so we can start from scratch and make our own together. All right, I'm gonna go up to my shape tool in the tools palette. And again, I'm gonna choose a rectangle. You can choose a star or a heart like I mentioned before. Just make sure it covers your entire answer. But for the sake of simplicity, a rectangle is for today. Next, you want to fill it with a color that contrasts your background color. So I'm gonna click on the color palette and I'm going to choose something very dark since my background color is very light. How about this blue right here?
my fill color is blue, and I don't really mind what the line color is. You can get fancy and change it if you like, but I'm just going to leave mine black today. Then you simply drag and make your rectangle, or whatever shape you may have, and make sure it fully covers your answer. Next, click the drop down menu of the visible shape. Select order and send to back. Because we can't see our answer, our box, our rectangle, is in front of our answer, and that's why we can't see it. So we need to order it and layer it so that we bring the box to the back, leaving the text in front for us to see. To do that, you'll want to select, with your select arrow, your rectangle, and touch your drop-down menu right here. Once you've touched that triangle, your drop-down menu appears, and you'll want to go to Order. When you've clicked on Order, a number of options come up. The one you want today for this is to Send to Back. As soon as we sent the rectangle to the back behind the text, the text appears, and you can see the answer. Move the shape so it's underneath the answer. This will reveal your answer. I always like to double check and make sure that it does in fact cover the entire answer so that it can be revealed. Then add instructions to let others know how to use the activity. Here I added instructions in a red color just to kind of offset the question a little bit and to give the reader a heads up that they have something else to look at here. So it simply says drag the rectangle over the line to reveal the answer, giving someone the directions to find the answer, which is soprano. And that is our order and reveal activity. Let's move on to our next one. Our next heading reveal activity is screen shade reveal. Here is an example of a screen shade reveal activity. Here I have a question. What does forte mean? Below it, you see a screen shade. I'm simply going to lower the screen shade down to reveal the answer, which is loud. The screen shade activity is very easy to make and doesn't have quite as many steps as some of the other ones do, and it's still pretty fun. So how do you do it? First, type your question and answer. Then click the screen shade button on the toolbar. Three, drag the screen shade to cover only the answer. And four, when ready, drag the screen shade over so that it no longer covers the answer. First, let's get rid of our original screen shade by clicking the X in the top corner. Now, for our demonstration purposes, let's make a new one. You'll want to go to your Actions panel and select the icon that looks like a screen that you would pull down to cover up a window with a drawstring shade. Once you select it, your entire page becomes covered with a screen shade. You can change your shade and change it from top to bottom, side to side, and even bottom to top. What we want to do is drag it down to cover up our answer. Now you can do it this format, but you can also try another format. Let's say your question was over here and your answer was over here. Simply drag the screen shade down to a height that you like, then drag it over to reveal your question. When you open your page, it might look something like this. Then simply select your screen shade and drag it over to reveal your answer. You may include some directions on what the screen shade is and what you should do with it when you come to a question with a screen shade. However, once you get to use the notebook software and your students get familiar with it, you'll find that as soon as they see a screen shade, they'll know exactly what to do and no directions are needed. So those are our four hide and reveal activities for a smart notebook the move and reveal, erase and reveal, order and reveal, and screen shade reveal. Thank you for watching my video today. Goodbye.